Hi guys, it's Zippy. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here, I know. But I got lots of stuff to tell you, so we gotta get started. Um, I thought I had an ulcer, so they did a scan on me. I'm eating peanuts in the shell. I'm getting kind of full. Anyway, they did a scan to see if I had an ulcer, and I don't. In fact, they took pictures. I'll show them to you. And the pictures 7, 4, and 6 are pictures of my gastric bypass surgery. So, this is one of them. They're kind of gross. But this is one of them. These three right here are the surgery pictures of my gastric bypass. See that? Hope you can see that. And it's all very weird looking to me. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, show stuff I've never seen before. The inside of my gut. So, I have two pictures suitable for framing. <laughs> I'm going to put them in Christmas cards this year. <laughs> anyway, um, um, so the, I don't have an ulcer. What I have is gallstones. Because they did an ultrasound and found gallstones. I saw two stones. There might be more. I don't know what they're going to do about that. Typically, your bariatric surgeon will go ahead and the ankle, even a healthy gall, a gallbladder out because it usually goes bad on you. I don't know why mine did it. Mine it did not, but I'm not surprised. I think he typically errs on the side of caution. Um, errs on the side of uh, um, not caution, but I just don't think he does that crap. I can't get the words out. I think he just doesn't do stuff that he doesn't feel are, is necessary at that necessary at that moment, you know. And so that's all good. I don't care. But looks like I might if they do pull my gallbladder, another surgery. Yay for Zippy! It'll be my third one: gastric, neck, gallbladder. Um, I went to a day. My heart was skipping beat, and so. Went to the heart doctor. I can't feel it from the outside. It's just something that showed up on EKG, a routine EKG. And um, the doctor did an ultrasound of my heart. It was so cool. It showed the blood flowing in and out and the valves opening and closing and all that. And um, he came back, he, he read it and came back and said, your heart's really healthy and strong. No issues here. And I'm like, you know, that's way cool because, you know, after living like hell for so many years, to know that my heart is healthy, um, let it just it's just a good thing. It just makes me happy, you know. And um so my workout is working for me. <laughs> it was so nice to walk in and tell him that I was working, that I'd lost under twenty pounds and that I was working out, you know. Um he was happy, you know. So, um, anyway, um, speaking of working out, I'm doing a new exercise. I go to another exor new exercise class. It's called uh, Zumba. Um, or Zumba or something, anyway. It's Latin dancing as exercise. I'm really full, but those peanuts are very good. But I'm full. But you see, I want something, and I don't know what it is. And I think it, well, I think it's carbohydrates, and peanuts are not going to cut it. They're just going to add fat to my diet. Anyway, I've lost 180. I mean, I weigh 180 to 184. I'm at 184 right now. The lowest I went to was 180. I stayed there for about one minute. <laughs> but you know what? The thing about it is, is that. I'm worrying about 
whether or not I'm going to hit my goals. I'm hitting my one year anniversary in October and I'm spending more time thinking about whether or not I've lost enough weight, have I done everything that I can do, blah, 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 blah. In fact, to the point where I'm comparing myself to you guys, you know, you guys lost so much weight. Well, I've lost so much weight, you know, and I'm tired of comparing myself. I'm thinking more about weight loss than I did when I weighed 300 pounds. It's wasted energy, you know. Um, I may be that girl that hangs at 180, and so have I been successful? Yes. You know, am I at my personal goals? No. Am I at my doctor's goals? No. But have I been successful? Yes. So, <coughs> they are my own goals and my own stress, and I can break my own goals. Now, <coughs> to talk about this check. My Zumba lady. So I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm tired of worrying all the time about it. Anyway, my Zumba lady, her name is Vanessa. You know, I kind of thought I was a girl until I met Vanessa. Vanessa's beautiful in a real healthy girl next door kind of way. She has very dark eyes and very dark hair, and she's just toned. She's got muscles popping out, but she's just in good shape, you know. And she does the Zumba, and I swear she's got a hinge at her waist. Because her hips go around in circles in ways that my hips have never gone. In fact, I was looking at myself in the mirror while we were doing the Zumba, and she looked great, and I looked like a pig stuck, stuck in mud trying to get out. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the truth. I'm not just being derogatory. It really, really did not look like hers. <laughs> really didn't. And so, you know, I don't know if she's genetically predisposed to looking excellent while dancing. I probably will never hit that goal. <laughs> God, I'd love to be that girly and that sexy, you know? Well, like I said, this is just really bordering on lesbianism. <laughs> I swear if I was a guy, I'd have a chubby for her all the time because she's so cute. And because... She moved. Oh, she's so sexy. Like, I'm just not, you know? So anyway, I don't care what you think of me. I'm straight. I don't care. But um, it's just got to kind of getting me to thinking of what is sexy and who is sexy. And, you know, what's sexy? And um, I was looking at, uh, is it Leche Dolce or Dolce Leche's... Uh, video, and uh, she was talking about how it's hard to feel sexy, and uh, I remember wearing, weighing 300 pounds and not feeling sexy at all, you know, you're not wearing sexy clothes, because they don't make sexy clothes for 300 pound women that look good on you, they look like grandma clothes, or you look like a hooker and you should be on Jerry Springer, you know, you're wearing, you're not wearing high heels because they hurt your feet, they're hard to walk in when you weigh 300 pounds because you have to put out extra energy to work, walk in them. So you're wearing flat shoes, orthopedics, and, <laughs> you know, they're just not cute. You don't really feel like putting on makeup because who gives two craps about it except for you and nobody thinks you look any cuter with or without it because you think you, you don't look cute without it. You don't look cute with it. Why, why bother, you know? And so, you know, all these things are... Went, th running through my head and I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to learn how to be a girl again and so I've been kind of practicing my girl walk you know my girl walk is um, I'm trying to swing my hips a little bit and I think I've got it down I've had people give me opinions on it <laughs> you know and so you know and I'm not not flirty and curly and me it just doesn't come naturally to me you know I just kind of am who I am, and and I know people like me, but gosh, I wish I was kind of sexy and cute, you know, or both, sexy, cute, or both, you know, all wrapped into one cute little package. So uh, anyway, I got some really cute shoes. Look at these little shoes. 
Look at that. They have sparklies on them. See that? Sparkly, sparkly. And yes, they are flat shoes, but I bought them because I love them. Not because I have to wear them. Okay, I'm out of here. I've got another video up for you. It's kind of an odd thing. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm going to go practice my walk.